this flow high 117 here and this is the project hopes and dreams 6s long flight time quadcopter part 2 FPV video that's a lot of words anyways if you haven't watched the first video part 1 about this quadcopter please go back and watch that video before continuing to watch this video reason being is I explained everything about this quadcopter what it's supposed to do what I wanted to do um, all the components that are used in it uh, basically everything you want to know about this quadcopter is explained in part one so please go watch part one if you have not done that yet um, anyways if you have seen part one let's continue on this video um, this video basically I take the original frame how I had it you know just with no FPV gear on it and I wanted to shave some weight off of it so I cut the carbon fiber piece down I shortened all the wires on the ESC's you know just trying to trim as much weight because on this thing you know weight is the key factor you want to keep it as light as possible I basically made it as clean and as neat and fit all the components and that's it as you can see I'm using my Mobius for recording and live video out it goes to my Team Black Sheep plug and play 25 core which provides uh, the charging capabilities to my Mobius so it continues to charge my Mobius while I fly and give me and take the live video out from it and it also supplies uh, power to my video transmitter so the weight that you're reading on the scale is the actual all up weight of the aircraft as I was flying at FPV if you watch the first video then you know that the batteries are in the arms that's why you don't see a battery there but I delayed long enough so here's the FPV flight video I hope you enjoy it more than I did where I cut you off Master Chief because the project is dead 
I didn't feel like rebuilding it because it took way too long to build in the first place. And I didn't get many flights out of it, so I guess it kind of killed my motivation to rebuild it. But it was fun while it lasted. Basically, I think one of the batteries came unsoldered in the arms, which uh, dropped my voltage. But, you know, I didn't think anything about it because I thought maybe the Team Black Sheep core might have been uh, not calibrated right or something because it was on my first flight on it. So, you know, I didn't know that the OSD was either right or wrong. Oh, I should have trusted the OSD, you know, but... You know, I guess I was a little thick-headed during the flight. Um, but, yeah, it caused uh, my ESCs to uh, shut down because I didn't actually um, turn the, the LiPo setting off and set it to nickel. That was another one of my bads. So, uh, yeah, basically that caused me the aircraft. But, you know, it was fun while it lasted. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And you can learn from my mistakes. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.